Hi guys, how are you today? So I found this question, this guy asking for the volume texture using inside the Niagara. So first we will see how we have a, a static mesh, then we can use a fluid to convert it in a fluid. Then we can bake it to make the volume textures like this. And here we have a volume texture of that skull. Then we using that volume texture to create particle on it. So we will do all this process in this video. So let's start this. So let's start this. So I have this empty folder. So first we need to understand what is volume texture, how to create that. And then we will use that inside the Niagara. So we will quickly check. So basically if you search volume texture in Unreal Engine and go to images, you will find lots of uh, your text. Uh, actually, if you'll see this one, I go to TLV and yeah. Yeah, this one. So how do we full screen it? Okay. So basically, let me zoom. If you'll see, he is doing this in Houdini. So we have a mesh, and what he's doing is just slicing that mesh and making a texture that looks like a sub UV, like this. And then we can use that texture inside Unreal Engine and that will give us the volume uh, fluid of that mesh like this one. So it's he's doing it in Unreal, uh, sorry, the Houdini, but we can also create it inside Unreal Engine using Blueprint and also using Niagara. So let's say you have a Niagara system and I'll take here master, master fluid and Let's open it. So we have this flow, let it compile and come. It'll take little time, but yeah, we will have fluid from a sphere. And I guess it should come now. Yeah, it's still compiling. Sometimes it takes time, but usually it not so we have this fluid okay so we can create a volume texture of this fluid or we can use a mesh that we are using uh, to amend the fluid then we can take a, a volume texture for that mesh also so first let's try with this so you can go to this baker and inside the baker by default is taking 2d texture but we need a volume texture to choose from here and then choose the binding thing so i will just use the density this is the density and see it's showing you that uh a sub u kind of thing because it's slicing it okay then you can just bake it and after that on the same path it will create this texture and then this so this texture you can see how it looks and uh, this is actually 2d texture first created so we don't need that so i'll delete that we just need this volume texture and if you see the 3d preview of this let's turn off the alpha see we have the fluids but this is 8 by 8 sub uv kind of thing but we just need one so because here this is 8 by 8 so let's try 2 by 2 and see what happens so i'll bake it again and now let it so now we have actually two by two. Uh, the very first frame is empty. Then we have two and two. So if you want one by one, it will not give you the result. So you can just make one by two and just bake again. And now you have a single fluid and you can zoom it and then see you have a cool fluid as a texture so you can use this thing inside the niagara to emit particle but if you want a specific mesh you can also do that so for that let's uh, uh create a new emitter and i'll take the fountain and i'll just isolate it i just want one particle uh not one particle actually i just want uh lots of particles but spawn just once and leave forever and i don't need all these things so i will just delete 
and then i want to emit particle from let's make this and first make this gpu because we have this gpu fluid so both address should be same same so now let's emit like 2000 particles all particles spawning on the same spot on this sphere so i'll just delete this and i'll take a static mesh location and from here let's choose any mesh you want so let's say i have a mannequin i think i have also skull this one so i'll just use this this is skull looks cool so i'll use this so i'm using this and see particle spawning on that so next thing let's reduce the box size so i'll go here on the summary of this and here let's make this zero and i think 200 and 200 will be enough So now this box is big enough to so my why is freezing yeah okay so we have this i'll just turn off the emit uh, renderer spread renderer okay my pc performance is not good today so what i'll do then i'll take this gas fluid so it will be a source uh, my emitter now you can rename this if you want or if you don't want just leave it then go to this emitter and go to the summary and go to the source and turn off this sphere source and then you have to turn on the particle source so click here and take the emitter and then here type the name i'll just type f it will show you the fountain then i'll go to the simulation first thing let's reduce the resolution because my pc is not taking it so 120 i guess and then this fluid is going up so i'll just make the gravity maybe minus one you can make it also zero okay then in the here you can increase the size of radius so you have a shape but it's not very clear but yeah you got the idea let's increase the particles even more maybe 5000 okay so you have this right so now you go back to the baker and you have to just re-bake it and then you will see you have this texture here so we have a skull uh, volume texture now let's use it inside the niagara so i'll just save save these three guys and then i'll take a new niagara and let's take empty fx volume texture and inside it i'll just right click take a new emitter fountain and i'll do the same thing delete this 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 and this take a bus let's take a 5000 particle you can make this gpu and and then spawn once and Live forever then i'll take the shape and i'll make the box and take the same size around or you can take a different size let's take 200 same size okay now you have to create a new scratch pad and here i'll take the volume texture and then sample volume texture and then it needs uv and that is vector 3 so you can take the position of particle and multiply it with a float to make tiles so let's call it tile and then if you want to offset just add although you can add a vector if you want a separate axis or separate tile separate offset but i'll do the i'll just take the float and this will be our offset and i'll just connect this here and then you have this four vector so you can use like if i just break you can use this red channel to 
for the opacity for the size for anything you want so let's say you take it for the uh, color or the size let's take it for the size so i'll take the size size is basically two vector but you can directly connect it okay let's apply it and now go back here and you need that texture so volume text is select this one i'll just browse it select it and here choose this after this uh, tiling would be like 0 0.0025 and this will be like 0.5 and you can see that already but i think with the color is not working perfect and you can also move it here in the spawn if you want okay so let's increase this, uh, the size because it's overriding the size here what you can do you can multiply it and then make a float and then connect it size okay let's apply and now if i increase the size see we have this and one more thing uh, let's uh, not do this because if you'll see if you go to here and wireframe all the part oh it's making the size zero but i can i think you need to you should delete those particles which is outside the skull so what you can do first thing size because there's a gradient you can take a power here to adjust the power gradient connect this here make it plot like we do in materials sometimes we have a texture that is very gray so you have you can take power to contrast let's call it power and see how it works i think at zero value it should work perfectly like this and with the size we can decrease the size okay cool and these things you can i think 0.005.0025 and this is the offset that you can yeah so offset should be around here okay and yeah we can increase this particle more if you want and also uh, the box you can like increase the size if you want i think 200 was perfect okay so that's it I, i'm using it for the size you can also like take a here a life and just saturate it and connect here so depending on that zero to one value it will delete those particles not the scaling so i'll just hit apply and it's just deleting and now you can adjust the size from here okay so this is it i think we need a better offset yeah that's it now you can use anything like curl noise or and force you want and it will work okay so this is how you use how you create volume texture then you use volume texture so i hope this was useful thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye